Russia faithful. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth. Eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. I should try luring the behemoth into the pillars. The wounds look strong, but the pillars don't. They weren't built to take a charge from the crazed behemoth. Shadow, 
Rose. Kill her. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Helis recognized you back in the sun ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. I'll be on my way. <sighs> to make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora's sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... <sighs> Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah!
blink, my eyes will freeze shut. This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. I can see why it's worth a lot. I'd have to ditch something. Naltuk said Aurea went past the shrine into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. A ladder pulled out of reach. By Rhea? Guess I'll have to find another way.
An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here, trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair... Oh boy, I should just go to bed. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC.
director of security, Blevins, is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Looks like the door's wired to something over here. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. to do with these lights. Ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please.
Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. No, I will not submit. Orea, the day is terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. A voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here. Years ago, during the war with the Karja, a raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me, but I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. 
by closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me, safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt, incomplete. She needed bones, parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things and long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times, first here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes, something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit? After it begged for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. <laughs> yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrack of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. He and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow, or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. 
Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the Spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the Spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. <laughs>